Prior to this, you ain't seen brothers lying in the street teaching our people. You ain't gonna never see the pastor of this church come out here and tell the people that you're the children of Israel. You know right. why? Because they need this. Right. How many collection plates you see out here? Bring it up. You don't see no collection plates. Because we ain't on a mission to collect money. That's We're on a mission to rebuild the kingdom of heaven. it's hard for us as a people to accept the fact that Christ is a black man because all our lives we've been taught that what we ain't ish right right you know no no hold on wait a black ain't ish if you take a little girl right now you got you got daughters no but I guarantee you can relate to this there are uh, there are uh, videos that you can find on YouTube where we place our young daughters in front of a white uh, doll baby and in front of a black doll baby. They and don't if you ask color. our children, they don't see color. which is the evil one, they always point out the black one. We've had children come up here and say, been we, we've been asked that, which one of these are Christ? We've asked children that mothers said that they haven't taught them that what Christ looks like. We said, which one of them is Christ? Which one you think they point at? Which image do, we, do you think they point at? What do they been taught? They, if the mother hasn't taught them, because our kids are not taught today by, by our parents. Right. We're taught by television. We're right. taught by social media. Mm -hmm. The world pushes this image, this image right here on our people. All our lives here in America, the black man has been told that he is nothing. Right. From the time we jumped off of the slave ship, we have been oppressed, suppressed, right depressed, and beat down to okay. a point. So we don't even we, we don't see God in us. So, so when you say you see God, I see you see Christ. I see. What you see? What did you spirit. What did you see? You see the spirit. I see the spirit. You I see, see what see color was the no spirit? Face. What color was the spirit? Oh, I'm gonna show you something. All Go back. I'm gonna show you One something color. again. Go back to that. Uh, what that I seen. Right. What I seen. What I personally. I can't see what everybody. I want to because you you gonna see what we saw. Most of ain't just gonna reveal I, himself to you. This, no, no, I'm not saying this, but doing my childhood trauma. Let me show you something, sister. You wanna listen? Just listen, just listen to me. I wanna show you something because we all think we got some knowledge. But the Bible is the book of knowledge. I'm gonna show you something. Cause bro, we say we see the spirit. Thank you. We don't have no color. Read that again. Read that. Daniel chapter seven verse nine. I want you to listen real good. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, uh -huh. and the ancient of days did sit. Who is the ancient of days? Who is older than days? Bring it up. The Most High God. He is older than days because He created days. The ancient of days, He did what? Did sit. So in order for Him to sit. Can a spirit sit? You know, spirits don't sit. What we've been taught about spirits is they just float around. Read that again. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. The most high God created of heaven and earth is the ancient of days. He did sit. That means he had a body. To sit down, he had a body. Read. Right. Whose garment? Oh, on that, on, not only did he have a body that he could sit, it says his what? Whose garment? Now, in order for him to put on a garment, what do you go? Can a can a spirit put on a garment? No. That means that read that again. Whose garment? Whose garment, which was on the ancient of days body, who did sit, whose garment was white as snow. It was all white. Read. And the hair of his head. The what? The hair of his head. Read. Like the pure wool. It says that God, the creator of heaven and earth who had a body that put a garment on his body, had hair, and it was like pure wool. Bring it now up. I have to look at your hair. Now your hair in its original form, Bruh. in its original state, is as pure wool. Pure wool. That thing right there, your hair, if you didn't have it slicked back, it would curl up and be 
what they call nappy hair. God said that's pure wool hair. Exactly, it ain't nappy. So look, why you do that? Because this world has made us shape ourselves or put an image out there that we should shape ourselves into for them. Give me that in Ezekiel chapter, uh, uh, cha yeah, chapter 16, I believe. 16, 14, I something like that. I'm going to show you something. I ain't going to let you miss your bus, okay. but I'm going to tell you, this right here, the bus. This the bus. Right. This is the bus to, in the transportation to the kingdom of heaven that people will throw away. Where's that in Ezekiel? Uh, beauty was renowned. I got you. Right, 16. Right, right. I got you. Read this real quick. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 14. Come on. And thy renown went forth among the heathen. God says, your renown, your beauty, the beauty that this world has tried to change of the black woman, your beauty was what? Went, and thy renown went forth among the heathen. He says, your beauty went forth among the heathen, went forth among the other nations. Meaning, they saw you and they said, wow, look at the type of women that this people have. Look at the beauty of these black women that these black men have. Your beauty world was renowned throughout all the earth among the heathen. Read. For thy beauty. For what? For thy beauty. Because you're a beautiful sister. You got to understand that. Read. For it was perfect. God said that your beauty, your hair, your lips, your nose, the roundness of the black woman's body, your a creation was what? For it was perfect. God said he made you perfect. Right. He ain't make nobody else with he, no other woman did he create like the black woman. Right. None. But yet here in America, we've been told that the standard of beauty is set by the so-called white woman who uses glamour shots and glamour beauty, straightens her hair. Now our women straighten their hair, dye their hair the color of theirs. That is not who you are. This is pure wool. God created this and he made you beautiful That's in your natural state. Right. right. But because we have been tainted, because we have been changed, no, you gotta understand that great. Go back to Revelations. I'm gonna show you something. You see this, sister? This ain't this ain't great. You think Christ? Now we ain't saying that this is Christ, right? We say that if Christ walked the earth today, according to the Bible, he would look like this. Read that in Revelation. Let me show you something about that, about that hair that you think great. Hey, bro, look at this brother right here. Look at this, look at this brother beard right here. That ain't great. That's white. Look at this brother right here. Look at this brother right here with this white beard. This is what the Bible is talking about. Read that, verse 14. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Look at this brother right here. Listen, read. His head. His head. His head. His head. Were white like wool. It was white like wool. Whoa! This is what the Bible is talking about. This is what Christ looked like. Read. It's white as snow. It was just white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were the flame of fire. Now, brother, you drink wine, don't you? Yes, sir. When you drink wine, what happened to the whites in your eyes? I they wake, get what? I wake up with red eyes what? like that every morning. They get red. Come on. And his like feet like a to fine bread. And he said his feet like fine brass. We know brass is brown. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if it burned in a furnace. So, brother, sister, what you got to understand is that, look. And my name, Moses. You read in your name, Moses, our praise. You need to hold on to that flyer and come to the schoolhouse and, and, and learn how to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We right down the street right here. I was over there on answering Greg's your street. questions. We right here on Greg Street. When I answered your questions. Yeah, you, 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 you was mentioning some stuff. I heard you. But give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. We can know all of this stuff. But here's the key. Bring it up. Key, sister. Let me show you real quick before you leave. If I said, what's your nationality, what would you say? Woo. What is your nationality? What does God call you in the Bible? And don't say child of God, because that ain't in there. I'm, I'm just going to the Bible. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. I'm going to show you something. That is a good answer. That is the best. You know what? You got, you got more heart. See, that's the devil right there. When the word of God started coming out, they, all, they always want to make some noise. I'm going to show you. Read Isaiah 1 and 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knows his owner. So God said an ox knows his owner. And the ass his master's crib. And a donkey knows his master's crib. Come on. But Israel. But the children of Israel, the people that God chose, the people who God wrote this book for and left this book for, the children of Israel do not know. They don't know their nationality. Read. My people do not consider. And we don't consider. You ask half of the people coming off this bus what their nationality is, they'll say, I don't know it. And they'll keep moving. But I'm going to show you something. You look right here on this side. And it's on the flyer too. If you look on the flyer right okay. there. But if you look on this side. Asher. What would you be called today according to this sign? Where would you fall at? 
What is your father? Let me ask you that. What is your father? Is he African American, Jamaican, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican? Which one? What would he be called today? He would be called Gad. That means he is an American, so-called American Indian. Now I'm gonna show you something, sis. We have lost great information that the Most High God left us with this Bible. Give me Hosea chapter uh, uh, four and six. <laughs> Don't remember this one, plus now. I'm honest. I ain't gonna. I'm, I'm done no rush. You ain't gonna. You ain't gonna miss it. I'm gonna show you something. Don't Hosea chapter four and verse six. I catch you. Because talking. a lot of people don't know. A lot of these brothers and sisters don't know their nationality. Half of them gonna say they're black. The other half will say I'm African American. We weren't born African. Those are not nationalities. Those right. names were given to us in slavery. The white man gave us them names. Right. Them ain't our names. That ain't right. what God called us in the Bible. Right. Read what you got. It's the book of Hosea. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Come on. Read out. My people. God said my no all people. My people. Are God the, said my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. When you would call yourself black or African American, you have been destroyed for lack of knowledge. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Gad. That is who you are. You're not African American. But because we came up in this country that have told us that we're black, that have told us that we're African American, now for so long we've been calling ourselves what? African American. That is not who we are. That is not who we are. Read that one more time. My people, God said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What is that knowledge? Give me that in Malachi. What is the knowledge that our people have been destroyed from? What do you think? Up. What's the knowledge that we have been destroyed from, young brother? What's the name? Huh? DJ. DJ. What is the knowledge? What do, you, what do you think, sis? What knowledge have we been destroyed from as a people? We've been destroyed completely. For one, we don't know our God. Number right. two, we don't know our true nationality. Yeah. If DJ right. hadn't walked up right now and I said, DJ, what's your nationality? You would say what? What would you say? Don't look at the sign. Imagine the sign went in and I said, DJ, what nation of people do you come from? What would you say? Black. African American, you see? But to say that you're African American, let me show you what you're saying. Who was Leo Scipio Africanus? Look it up. Do you know? Who was America Vespucci? Do you know? But you call yourself their name. Leo Scipio Africanus conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic War. Read it he on. changed the name of, uh, uh, of, of the landmass to his last name, Africa. Africanus conquered Hannibal and changed the whole name of the land to his name, Africa. America Vespucci came here before Columbus. This country is named after Amerigo, thus America. So when you say that I'm African American, you're saying I come from the sperm cells of two white men. Right. Is that possible? No, that ain't possible. So you're not an African American. Now, DJ, who are you? Bring it up. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. My family is the American now, who are you, sister? Who are you now? This is what our schools have failed us in. This is what our pastors at these churches have failed us in. The knowledge of this Bible, they have failed us in understanding who we are. Give me again Jeremiah chapter 23. Jeremiah chapter 23. Because what they have done to our people, they will pay for. But we gotta understand what we must do in order to come back to the understanding of this Bible. Read that, start at verse 1. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, and verse 1. Come on. Read out. Woe be unto the pastors. God said, woe be to them pastors. Because you done been to church, right? You done been to church, right, sis? God said what? Woe be unto the pastors. Woe be unto the pastors of churches like this and of churches like that. Come on. That destroy and scatter 
the sheep of my pasture. God said they destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. You are the sheep. How have you been destroyed and scattered? You don't know that you're uh, Israelite according to God. Right. You think that you're African American. Yeah, Israelite. You think that you, well, you're an Israelite. That, that is who this Bible is written That's to. Right. This That's whole right. Bible is written to. The, give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Matter of fact, give me that. What's that? It's, that? it's the last verse in chapter 27, right? Where it mentions. No, no, Deuteronomy chapter. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Read that. Let's find out who Moses was talking to. Give me Deuteronomy 1, 1 and verse 1. Let's, let's find out who Moses and this Bible is talking to. Let's see. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. Unto African Americans. All Israel. Unto black people. All Israel. So these are the words that Moses spoke to the children of Israel. The question is, who are the children of Israel today? Why aren't nobody talking about the children of Israel today? Because your enemy, the so-called white man, has changed your name to American black. Right. To West Indian blacks, right. to uh, Haitians, uh, Puerto Ricans, right. Cubans, Dominicans. These are our people. We're the same people. That's you right. are the children of Israel. Right. You're not black. Your damn your sweater is black. Yeah, you ain't black. You ain't black. You are brown. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. Let me show you something. Give me Genesis 2 and 7 real quick. You ain't black. You ain't African American. Right. Those are lies. Right. But we're going to show you what God said. Let me show you why you're brown. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Today, yeah. all lies are being exposed. Come That's on. Right. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. They say God for a man for what? The dust of the ground. Now we looking at the dust of the ground right here. If we dig under this, what color is the dust of the ground? What color is it? Huh? No, 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 no. You look, you, you look at that clay on the top because of the, the cement. Dust you can't see. But when you dig into the ground, you dig into the ground, what color is the ground? Bring it up. It's what? No, it ain't gray. Pull that, pull that damn, uh, uh, pull that damn grass up right there. It's probably gonna be more concrete. But you gotta think, bro. Dust oh. of the ground. You look at it. what? What color? What color? Look, there you go. Look at it. Bring it over here. Bring it on over here. Bring it on over here. Now read this again. Read this again. Genesis two and seven. Come on. And the Lord no. God for a man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? It's black and brown. The deeper you dig in the dirt, the darker it gets. That's right. That's why we're brown. Because God for a man from the dust of the ground. Come on. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. And he gave us his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. So you're not an African American. Right. You're a God on the earth. That's right. You are made in the image. And like, give me Genesis 1 and verse 26. Give me that real quick. God for a man from the dust of the ground. Read. Genesis 1 and 26. Come on. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Uh-huh. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air. So God said, let us, he was talking to the angels, let us make men in our image and after our likeness. Right. So if God formed man from the dust of the ground and the dust of the ground is brown and you're brown, what color is God? Bring it out. What color is God? Bring it out. He's what? You scared to say that? No. Come on, go back to that in Daniel. Go back to that in Daniel real quick. Bring it out. For a man from the dust of the ground. You're made in the image and the likeness of God. What color is God? What color is God? What color is God, sister? We've been reading color for the last 20 minutes. We've been reading color for the last 20 minutes. What color is God? Brown, we're going to find out from the Bible. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. Come on. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Uh -huh. And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is the Most High God because what? he's older than days. Come on. Whose garment? He had on a garment. He had a... Now, can a spirit put this garment on? Hell no. Nah. Bridget, spirit can't put no damn garment Bridget, on. Come on now. And his what? His garment uh -huh. was white as snow. He had on a pure, bad, white garment. Come on. And the hair of his head. Oh, the what? The hair of his head. Touch the hair of your head, DJ. Touch the hair of your head. Like what? Like the pure wool. <laughs> now, if this ain't some damn wool right here. Bring it out. You gonna tell me this ain't wool? This is wool. Like the what? The pure wool. Come on. His throne was like the fiery flame. <laughs> Come on. And his wheels as burning fire. Read on. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Jump down. Give me this color. Yeah. Daniel 10? Yeah, Daniel 10. Who knows your hot? 
Yeah. The spirit will do that to you. Now I'm gonna show you something. Now you just you just learned that his his hair was like the what? Pure wool. That you were made in the image and likeness of God. And he formed you from the dust of the ground, which is brown. Now let's find it. Let's find out something else. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 6. Let's go. Bring it up. His body also was like the barrel. His body was also like the barrel, read. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Read on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Now you notice the whole body, all of this is describing color. Barrel is green. All right, read. And his arms and his feet. Now we're talking about the arms and his feet. His arms and his feet, DJ. His arms and his feet. Come on. Like in color. Like in what? In color. Like in color. To polish brass. What color is polished brass? Somebody Bring Google it, it on their phone. Google polished brass. What color is polished brass? No. We're gonna show you. But you, you we're gonna show you. But you notice how the how the Bible is describing color the whole time. This whole book is a book of color. Polished, polished brass. I'm gonna show you. Polished brass. Pull it up on Google real quick. There you go. There you go right there. Look at that right there. Polished brass. That is polished brass. You see that? When you polish brass, that's what it look like. Now go to Revelation 114. Go to Revelation 114. Yeah, but all of that derives from what color? It derives from what color for that family? Brown. Right. Like the what? Oh. Dust of the ground. Right. Read what you got. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. Come on. His head and his hair. His head and the hairs on his face were white like wool. They were white in color and woolly in texture, like your hair. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He says Christ's eyes was a flame of fire. Was he mad? Was he shooting beams out of his eye? No. Christ's first miracle was what? What was his first miracle? What was Christ's first miracle? At the wedding feast, what did he do? He turned water to wine. And what did he do with the wine? Pour it out? Did they pour the wine out? They drank the wine, right? When you drink wine, what happens to the whites of your eyes? And they get drunk. They turn red. The whites of your eyes turn red. So it says his eyes like like what? Read. And his eyes as the flame of fire. His eyes were like the flame of fire. Come on. And his feet. Now we're talking about his feet. We're looking at Christ's feet. John the Revelator is looking at Christ's feet. Read. Like a fine brass. Like he said Christ's feet look like fine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, when you take fine brass and you burn it in a furnace, you put some fire to it, what color does it turn? If you burn rice, what color it turn? That ugly brown, black. Right. Well, if you turn, if you burn paper, what color it turn? Black. If you burn anything, what color it turn? Black. black. Read that again. <laughs> and his feet like a to fine brass. Huh? And if they burn, and they furnace. So John the Revelator says Christ's feet look like they were burned in a furnace. Now I got a question. If you take your shoes, your socks off, what color the top of your feet? They brown? Okay. So if I'm looking at your feet, if I'm John the Revelator, and I'm looking at your feet, and I see your feet the color of brown, what color is your leg? Bring it out. Mm. What color is your hand? Brown. What color is your arm? What color is your neck? I can see that. Brown. What color is your face? Brown. Wait a minute. That's right. So you trying to tell me that the lie that they have pushed here in America for over 400 years since we came out of slavery of this guy being the damn, being Jesus Christ is a damn lie? Bring it up. Yes, this is a damn lie. This right here is Cesare Borgia. Right. This was painted by Michelangelo. That is who painted this, all right? The image that we have been given as Jesus Christ is a false image. Right. The doctrine that we've been given by Jesus Christ is a, about this Christ is a false doctrine. What you're gonna learn today, brothers, that look, now that you now you've learned that one, you are not black, you are not African American, Jesus is not white, the most high God had hair of pure wool, and that you are an Israelite from what? Which tribe would you come from? You don't know? I got a question. If you had to fill out a job application right now and it says, what is your race, what would you put? Read it up. You gonna put white? You gonna put what? American what? 
Because on the application, it don't say America. It's an application. It's an application. Uh, on, on the application, when you fill out the application, it says, African. what is your ethnicity? It says African. black, African American, white, or Caucasian, Asian, or other. Mm -hmm. Which one do you put? You put what? That means that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's That's right. Right. That is what God calls you. Give me Genesis chapter 8. No, chapter 49. Give me Genesis chapter 49 and 8. Because what you got to understand, this is how we know who we are in this country in these last days. Right. See, prior to this, you ain't see brothers lying in the street teaching our people. You ain't going to never see the pastor of this church come out here and tell the people that you're the children of Israel. You know right. why? Because they need this. Right. How many collection plates you see out here? Bring it out. You don't see no collection plates because we ain't on a mission to collect money. That's We're right. on a mission to rebuild the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Right. Give me the, you got that? Yes, sir. Read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 8. Come on. Judah, thou art he whom thy brother shall praise. The Bible says Judah is he whom his brethren shall praise. Judah, all your brethren is going to praise you. Read. Thy hand shall, thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. It says your hand is going to be in the neck of your enemies. Now, if we enemies and I got my hand in your neck, what are we doing? We're fighting. There's a struggle going on. There's so that we're at odds with each other. It says that Judah's hand is going to be in the neck of his enemies. The black man's hand has been in the neck of his enemies since we got off the slave ship. Right. Since we landed and docked here on this side of the earth, our hands have been in the neck of our enemies. That's why you had the Black Panthers. Right. That's why you had the Brown Berets. That's why you had all these different organizations that raised up trying to get the black man to become more than he really is. Trying to become more than what he has been here in this country. Right. That is why you see men lying in the streets today teaching you that you're the greatest man that ever walked this earth. That's There'll right. never be another individual like you, brother. There'll never be another woman like you, sister. It says Judah's hand shall be in the neck of his enemies. Read. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. The rest of our brethren, they're going to bow down before us. Why? Because it was the so-called black man here in America that stood up first to teach our people that, look, we are not African-American. We are not Indians. We are not Latinos. We are the children of Israel. That's right. Read. Judah is a lion's whelp. says Judah, he's a lion's whelp. That's why when you look on, 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 on at sports, who's dominating everything? That's Judah out there. Bam, we banging on you. We throwing the football to 150 yards. We doing all that because God put a gift in us. Read. For the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He says, for the prey, my son, thou have gone up. When a lion goes out to hunt prey, how does he go? Does he just run out there? No. No, lions, they, they creep. So back in the early 60s and 70s and 80s, we were creeping and trying to find different avenues on how to overcome our enemies, or how to get a step ahead of this society. But what happened? They brought in the so-called white woman. They brought the white woman in and gave us cocaine. They gave us crack. They gave us liquor stores. They gave us everything that you see around us to destroy us. Right. And we fell for it. Now we got brothers strung out on every corner. We got brothers and sisters strung out, homeless on every corner. Because like that lion, we were creeping, and then they crept in and gave us the bull crap. Read. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. We stooped down in the early 60s. We couched as a lion, about to jump on our prey. Come on. And as a old lion. But then we got old. Read. Who shall rise him up? Who shall rise Judah up now? Now Judah's been laying down as an as a old lion, laying down for our enemies, getting walked on over by our enemies for the last 50, 60, 70 years when we, when we had that energy to pounce on our, on our oppressor. Bring it out. Now we just want to smoke weed and play video games. Right, right. Come on now. now we just want to run the streets and, 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 and find holes and, and lay up with every woman that we can find. Right. Now we're not thinking about rising up and becoming a great nation that God has called us to be. Right. But you, DJ, you have been heard, you have heard the word of the Lord today. You got to make a decision. Do you continue in the filth that this country has given our young men? Bring or do up. you rise up according to God's laws? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>